places because I'm not finding these new projects as much. Exactly, Brian. There are some really, really good ones that are, that have come out. A lot of them with VC funding as well, um, which seems to be the new meta in in uh, that I'm seeing. Is like anyone that's VC funded is getting pumped at the moment, um, and it's easy to understand why. Because on the positive side of VC funding is you know that it's less likely that that team is going to rug. They're now answerable to um, people who have invested in them. Also, the the VC guys, the notable ones of which this project also has a notable VC um, investor, are not going to invest in your project if you meet with them on Zoom in a mask. So yeah. you know that the VC funders have met the founders, the founders are real people, um, and that seems to be the latest meta. We've seen DigiGaku uh, really, really pump after they mentioned it, even Doodles, which we're going to talk about later, which we actually yep. mentioned it a few months back anyway. We saw that pump, um, and we've seen... Um, yeah, various pumps because of it. So this one's the same. They they recently got twenty million dollars raised in VC capital. Um, the things I really like about this, you've got a very small collection size, two thousand, which is always bullish. Um, owner distribution ratio under fifty percent, but climbing. I have been watching this for the last couple of days. You've got six hundred and seventy ETH volume traded, and we'll go to activity as well just to show you. It's only been out for four days, um, mm. and you've got that that six hundred and seventy ETH, which in this climate is incredible, sitting at a floor price of 0.6 or just under, best off a 0.51. You know what? I've been uh, another ind indicator of mine is depending on how close the best offer is to the floor price, usually shows short term, very short term in the next couple of hours, what direction the price is going to go. So when you see a project with a 0.59 floor um, and a 0.51 offer, that's about 8%, which is pretty standard. So it might stay the same. It might actually drop a little bit. But if that best offer was 0.58 or 0.57, that typically is showing you that that project is pumping at the moment. Mm. So that's been a nice little indicator for me because, you know, OpenSea never used to show this best offer thing. And, and I have noticed that when they're close together, like 0 0.57, 0 0.58, 0 0.56, that means short term. Next couple of hours, it tends to be on its way up. So that's wow. just a cool little bit of alpha. So this project is um, by Atari. Um, so I'll just take you here, 27,000 followers. Uh, so it's a game project. Um, and it's by Atari, who we all know, the gaming company, and VH uh, Studio, right? So you've got, again, sort of the Web 2 and Web 3 coming together. Um, it was originally going to be a 3,200 collection, but they kept it at 2,000, which is more bullish in my opinion. Um, and they are developing uh, uh, a whole lot of games. But these guys, uh, uh, the backers were the guys behind Zed Run. You remember Zed Run, mm. that horse game, yep. like that very OG project that did incredibly well. That's that's who is behind this project, right? And I think that's also why guys are so bullish on it. The mint price was 0.75 Ethereum. Um, so you can see it's, 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 and it has 10x. It went to 0.75 and has pulled back slightly. Um, wait, and wait, I think wait, the what VC was the mint, you said? 0 0.075. Oh, oh, I thought you said the, the mint and, was 0.75. I was like, what the fuck? No, but the floor, the floor did hit 0.75. So if you had sold at the top, it, it was a 10 at a 10x. Wow. Jesus. Um, but now it's, it has pulled back a bit. But definitely interesting. A good team behind it. VC, VC funding already had a successful game in the space in Z Run, and one that I'm watching. I'm watching closely. You know, if this was a normal bull market, I would be buying even at this point because, like medium term, I think it's a good buy in this yep. bear market. And especially now that we're seeing that it's an extended bear market and it's still going to be an extended bear market, I'm just so hesitant to pull the trigger. I've seen, bro, I was looking at the Renga ones, the avatars. I was looking at them at 0 0.1, thinking ah. these are going to pump. And then they went to 0.15, and I thought if it was a bull market, I would buy. And now they're like 0.5 or something <laughs> stupid, bro. And there's been a few where usually I'd pull the trigger, but I'm just being so cautious. Um, and I think rightfully so, but um, I've, I've definitely missed a couple of opportunities because of that, you know.